give him some shit. Let's, Let's get offensive! Let's talk a little bit about bestiality, boys, a little bit. Now, this is a totally different animal completely, and no pun intended. Right. Si, senor. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's more of a, a humor, rap, electronic. Uh, it's. Uh, I would say it's more pop. Pop, sick, anything. disgusting humor. I, I came up with Experimenta Pop. <laughs> Experimenta Pop. That's, that's, that's a that great works. title for that. <laughs> that works. It so, wasn't a typo. <laughs> it it wasn't a typo. Come from Chelsea, it. I, I kind of halfway expected it to be a typo. I thought he was trying to spell something. Yeah. Well, um. Welcome back. <laughs> I guess, uh. A commercial you, break. I guess what you can say about that band is that, uh, it's, pro it's to, to kind of get you goat a little bit, kind of, kind of pick at your scabs, things that you don't, things that make you a little bit uncomfortable, we kind of yell those as loud as we possibly can, <laughs> and we like to, uh, make people feel weird, and, uh, for some reason, it does make people feel weird. As polarizing as it is, it does have a, a bit of a following, which is strange to me. But hey, the well, music's good, so people like to listen to uh, to things that shock them, to hear things that they've always wanted to say themselves, but aren't aren't brave enough to step out and say it. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff that you guys come up with in that is just it. I feel a little bit sick sitting up, sitting around you, guys, sitting amongst you. It's guys. It's, it's cool because the yeah. the the <laughs> listening pleasure of Beastie Boys is simply a double sided. When it comes to actually seeing the BCI boys play live and reproducing that sound and the uh, visual Im Im imagery, Im imagery <laughs> that you're gonna see when you come out, but you will. It's it's. I draw some... a lot of influence from the movie Last of the Mohicans, and um, you know things things of that ilk. Now, now how so? Because I'm not putting that together. You have to explain that a little bit. I mean, bit. have you ever been inside of a, a car when you're going real fast and someone's eating, eating like, they're eating food while they're driving and it's like spilling on their lap and then they look down and they're like pulling off the road? And it really makes you angry. And that's kind of where we get most of our uh, guitar riffs from. Like, you put yourself in that position, you know? I got gotcha. you. How do you guys come up with the, uh, these ideas? I know you probably work the same way as with uh, Cynical Deliverance, where you guys switch files. Do you guys sit in a room and, and just mm. write, or is it's, it's, it's just inside yeah, it's jokes you guys come up with? Well, a lot of it like started like a long. A lot of these songs are really old that I started a long time ago, and we've resurrected them. But most of the really good ones, Aaron will write the the beats, and then he'll send me the the beats. And then I will write something over them. Yeah. And then I will come in and say, uh, I need to put this sample in here. And he'll say no. And then we get in a huge argument. And then it ends up. Yeah, that's a, it's a huge argument. And then all of a sudden it ends up being a master, up being masterpiece. Cool. But we do a lot of improv. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we'll we bring in keyboards that we don't even know what, what they are and just pick a song that's awesome and do improv over it. And it kicks ass. and Or we'll write some original beats that, that are, you know, totally dope in your, in your like, town. It's basically everything, like, there's no limit to it. We can just make it, if I wanted to make a song uh, that was like, uh, 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 car horn, the whole time, I'm going, uh, I mean, that's a track, I guess, yeah. if you want it to be. Each CD usually has like 20 tracks. <laughs> So, oh, when people are coming out to see the Bestiality Boys live, it's a little bit different than what you would see with your other project. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys. I, I haven't had a chance to see you guys play, so tell me about what I would what I would see if I. We like to change the live show up every single time. We never like want to do, do skits. Yeah, skits are awesome. We never want to do the same live show twice. I think it's kind of like when you go see the Bestiality Boys show. It's kind of like going out to a train yard. And squeezing yourself in between the two rails 
and just gritting your teeth as tight as possible and hoping that train overhead doesn't hurt you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, maybe, and maybe right towards the end of the show, you twitch and your hand goes under the tracks and you lose some fingers. <laughs> you go home happy. And you're okay with that. A lot yeah, of skylarking, a lot of dre- like dre- dressing, dressing up, a lot of uh, jokes that no one gets that only I find funny. But then again, we've had old grannies love our stuff. Yeah. The last show we played at the Masquerade last month, I you mean, never tell. wow, there's this old lady there and she loved our stuff. She filmed it for us and she was down. I think she just wanted to get with you. I- <laughs> That's Matthew. She was here, she was sitting next to us. I think y'all have a song about that already, don't you? Probably. <laughs> old ladies. We, pre- we, we, we predict things in songs and they happen later. We predict things in life and they happen earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so get, can you predict that we'll all be millionaires in the I don't think that's gonna happen. I think okay. I think I'll I'll, I'll I'll end up in the Jimmy Hill mission. I'll end up a, a hunger dare. I he'll be shining money. shoes right outside the BJCC for and then once I shoes. Get, there's big money in that. Once I drive up to the <laughs> drive up to Inslee with my hundred more, then it'll be gone and I won't be a hundred air anymore because of Inslee. We've self BCI boys has self made CDs from Office Max Office Depot materials since uh, 2005, but we've been recording music. Matthew started in 2002. And then, uh, Actually, it was like 2001, basically. The, After September 11th. Talking about Methed Up in L.A.J. was yeah. 2002 release. Then uh, Masturbate Copycat, our first real LP, was uh, 2003, Freshen Up Your Slice. In 2004, Slicing Up Your Fresh, 2005. Klondark Bike, Strength on 2007. Now, no, we were, but, but in the 2006, we were in a thousand bajillion other bands, so you can't really... Yeah, we we usually try and release a CD, a full length CD or a, or an EP each year. That's what we've tried to do. It started out as me just with I had a four track. And after September 11th, I decided I would do comedy music, and then because it's something about the the planes, you know, you know, I was like, wow, I really need to focus on my craft. It's really changed my, my life. Craft. And I got a four track recorder and I got a keyboard and I started doing little preset beats and I started singing asinine horrible garbage over it and then some of my friends liked it because they were on drugs real heavy and and of course I was not I don't condone that you know I'm, I'm a born again Christian and I you know I respect the fact that they like to do drugs but you know it's not for me it had anyway, nothing to do with the music had nothing to do with the music at all no but um yeah and then and then I was basically about to throw it in the garbage, and Aaron's like, hey, we could do this and turn it into a rap group. And I said, no. Immediately no. <laughs> immediately and then no immediately way. yes. So we did it. That's funny. You said you were going to throw it in the garbage, and I, I, that image that you guys have of you guys in the garbage. Kinda... Garbage is a big part of it. Well, four-track four track recordings are usually where they end up is the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> unless, Some of them are unless it's like Nirvana or something. Some somewhere. of them are real gems, though. You or maybe the dumpsters. Picture on that album. Now, 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 where could somebody find uh, Bestiality Boys music? Where can they go out and pick it up and, and get to know you guys? They could easily find us on what we first started was our MySpace page. If you get on Yahoo.com or Google.com, I suggest Yahoo because I support Yahoo. Uh-huh. Get on there, type in Bestiality Boys. You're going to find about... With a t- Z. With a Z. And yes, no with a Z. Z. No Z. Bestiality, B-O-Y-Z. We are not the Bestiality Boys. No, it's just Bestiality Boys. You'll find... Lots of different web pages that will link you either to our MySpace or to our main web page, which is uh, cynicaldeliverance.com forward slash bbboys forward slash index.html. I know that kind of sucks, but you can find it on Yahoo. You can PayPal us send for us a, a CD. Send us a message and say, hey, I would love a CD. And yeah. We will instantly send you one. You can, you can get on there and instantly them. pay us with PayPal, and we'll send you a CD. And Every time someone orders something, we'll send a free demo out with, like, any of the new stuff that we're working on, we'll or just like, make, we'll just make some to send out to them special. We we would do crazy packages, like we're sending stuff to people. It's really funny, and you'll we're like it. We're always working on something new too. Like never fails. We're always working on some kind of new CD. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you're searching for Bestiality Boys, you may want to let everybody know to be very careful which one you click because you might. Huh. Well, you might get something you like or a lot of porn comes. You out. might have your 12 year old son or daughter sitting next to you, and which and they might they me, might see something they don't want to see because yeah. Every time you type in the word Bestiality Boy, Beast on the internet, you gotta watch out. Yeah, yeah you get some nasty stuff. But, hands. but as long as you put the Z in boys, you should be fine. It you should, should be the first be thing fine, you yeah. pop up. But I mean, bestiality is still in it. 